I've been so alone ever since I left the tribe. That's just how it goes, guess I like the Finally just got off work. I'm currently on my way to go pick up my bike because if you guys don't know or you guys are new to the channel My bike has been getting fixed for about a month because I broke the clutch on it and all I wanted to get was fairings for it Clutch broke and I said while well, you had it check everything else put new uh, turn singles on all that shit because I want it as good as new when I get it back so It's like an hour train ride. I'm going to get my bike pick up my bike meet some guy at the train station pay for my bike Get on my bike, head back to base. When I get to the train station, whether it's at the train station or when I get back, I haven't decided yet. It depends how, where I am, where I get the bike, because I have no idea where I'm going. I will uh, do a walk around the bike, show you guys what I did to it, and I'll explain the process of what happened, all the new parts and stuff. I'm so excited to get my bike back. And yeah, it's warm out, motor vlogs are coming, fitness vlogs. It's about to be crazy. I'll catch you guys back when I'm back on my bike. Shit. All right, so ignore my hair because I've been riding all day, so I got fucking helmet head. But anyway, my bike is back. If you guys are new to the channel, you guys know that. Um, if you guys don't know, well, obviously if you're new to the channel, uh, my bike has been broken for about a week or so. I planned on just replacing the fairings on it, but what ended up happening was I, the clutch broke when I was riding around on base. So I tried fixing it myself, ordered some parts on eBay, tried fixing it, couldn't do it. And then I just contacted some guy off base that I knew, like word of mouth from people on base who fixes bikes, sells bikes, everything. He's got one of the best mechanics in Japan to work on it and stuff. So I ended up giving it to him and I'm gonna do a breakdown of everything that has been done to the bike so far. So I'm gonna introduce you my new bike, which doesn't have a name yet. So please drop the comment right now. What should I name it? But here we go. So yeah, some of you are probably like, what's so different about it? Because you've never fucking been to the channel before. You're stopping in right now. But if you guys don't know, obviously my Instagram has pictures and stuff in it. And uh, if you guys look at other uh, motor vlogs and stuff, my bike is in there. But this right here, I believe used to be, this used to be blue. This shit used to be red and blue. And this shit was all faded and fucked up. Gas tank was still red. This shit was red, this shit was red, but it was faded, fucking cracked and scratched, because I did drop it once, and it was dropped before me. But, yeah, the bike is back. So, right now I'm gonna explain to you everything that I did to the bike, and I know what ended up happening too, before my clutch broke, I ended up taking some fairings off, just to start the process. And uh, someone commented, or a couple of you commented, hey, can you record the process of taking the fairings off the bike? So I can see how it is, because I want to know if it's a pain in the ass or not. And I'm going to say this right now. If it's just you, it fucking sucks. You're going to need, depending on your bike, Allen keys, some sockets, some wrenches and shit, and a lot of patience. What ended up happening is, before I bought this vlog camera, I had my GoPro on top of a car next to my bike. Recording me, taking the shit off, I was just going to like speed it up and shit, show me, take everything off and strip it. And a uh, gust of wind came, tripod wasn't the best. Stupid move on my part, put it on a convertible where the roof was not really sturdy and uh, it fucking blew off and dropped my GoPro, hit the concrete, shattered the lens, the screen, everything, ordered a new, a new lens, I'm like, I can fix this myself, couldn't fucking do it. Bought a new GoPro, $400. Bought a new vlog camera, $400. Fairing kit, fucking like 550 bucks. Repairs on the bike, about 590 bucks. So right now, I bought the bike for 2000 about a couple months ago. So we're about this bike in about $3,100 around there for this bike, which is not bad because everything's fixed now, so I don't anticipate any issues coming in anytime soon. But also, uh, at least when I leave here in a year, I'm not gonna take this with me. I'm gonna fucking sell it and get something brand new or used, depending on where I go next, whatever base, because I have about a year left here in Japan, so I'm gonna buy something new next time. But right now, before it gets dark out and starts fucking raining on me, because it's like a fucking Scooby-Doo movie out here, we're gonna show you everything I did to the bike because some people are probably like, what did you do to it? So here we go. 
So, starting off with the fairing kit. Black tail piece, uh, brand new red nose front fairing, brand new tire hugger fairing, side pieces right here, brand new side piece fairings, went with a black and red combo because my gas tank was originally red, but I figured I don't want to fucking go through the hassle of repainting my tank and shit, and I was going to black it all out, but it looked weird with just a red tank, so I found the black and red. These are off of absfairings.com. I'll put the link in the description below for them. Really great customer service. All I can say is good things about them. They email me back. They, they can do custom fairings. They have pieces. Any, any fairings you want, color scheme and stuff, they can paint for you. They even gave me a military discount. And I'm not one of those people just to, you know, throw out, you know, hey, I'm in the military, military service and all this shit. But, you know, um, they knew I was in Japan, so they, I, I let them know. I was like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm in Japan and stuff and stuff stuff and stuff what the fuck and stuff and then uh, see stuff again so I ended up telling them I was like yeah I'm in the military because I saw online they have a big thing it's the police and fire department and military which I'm really appreciative of people that do that that offer you know discounts and wouldn't no matter how much it is a discount just for you know just to say thank you little things like that so I ended up getting like 50 75 dollars off my fairing kit plus free shipping to Japan which was awesome um I don't know where I was going with this yeah but that website link in the description nothing but great things from them i swear to god they have the best service pretty fast shipping and even uh discount and i emailed them and they were so quick to get back to me about replying and stuff pretty good so we got the side fairing right here like i said black and red brand new tire hugger brand new intake tubes whatever the fuck you want to call them um tire hugger brand new black tail piece and that is about it for the fairings. I fucking love it. And you guys saw a walk around the beginning of the video, but I love it. I love the way it looks. It's shiny. It's nice. The only thing that's a little faded, different color of the gas tank, but it's not too bad, so it's not going to piss me off that much. Uh, I love the seat. I mean, seat's a little, like, fucked up, but it's so comfortable, so I don't think I'll change that anytime soon. I, am, I do plan on taking this, the carbon fiber chain fucker thing off, and the carbon fiber tire hugger in the back. I'm probably just going to spray paint it matte black to match this fairings. But, um, yeah, we have the red and black foot peg that were originally on it. I'm going to keep the red and black. I ended up breaking one, so I got new black ones, but I like the black and red, so I kept them. Uh, up next, we had, I got frame sliders. If you guys know what frame sliders are, they pretty much go to the, the side of your bike right here, as you can see. So just in case, God forbid, you ever dropped your motorcycle, the frame sliders should absorb, not, well, yeah, absorb the impact, but... All the damage should land on your frame sliders and not your bike. That's the whole point of it. So I don't anticipate on going in, going down. I really fucking hope I never do go down. But if I do, at least it's got a little more protection for my bike and stuff. I also have one on the other side right here. Another frame slider right here. I don't even know what they say. Moto motivation. Yeah, he ended up having to drill holes in my fairings just to fit the frame sliders on. But a fucking plus work to them. I also will put the uh, mechanics info in the description and their website in the description. I know it probably doesn't help you guys because most of you probably aren't in Japan, but if you guys are in Japan, the turnaround time is about a week and a half. Repairs, he had to get uh, new fairings, new bolts and shit. Uh, well, installation of fairings, clutch parts, uh, frame sliders, clutch labor, like new clutch. Oh yeah, I didn't tell you guys. I broke my clutch. Well, I told you guys, just never explained it. I broke my clutch. What ended up happening is this fucking thing right here. Um, the rod that feeds into the clutch cover, there's a metal rod, this thing's fucking hot, that goes all the way down here, the clutch broke, well I shattered the rod somehow, just by riding it on base, probably just eventually wear and tear went down, this bike's from a 99, so I can't fucking complain, that broke, I bought a new one of these, tried fixing it, couldn't fucking do it, so I was like, you know what, fuck it, so he put a whole new one in here, I don't know what he did to anything in there, but I see there's a new spring, a new clutch lever rod, probably the new clutch cable is in there as well, so that was done as well. Like I said, the turnaround time, everything was perfect about the bike. They worked really hard on it. He did it quick, and he was pretty uh, responsive about questions and shit. He even picked me up at the train station. I took like a two-hour train ride out to Fast Mount Fuji, because that's where his mechanic shop was. He picked the bike up originally because he was dropping somebody else's bike off of him base, so he was able to pick mine up and bring it to the shop, but he couldn't bring it back. So I'm like, you know what? He at least picked it up. I'm going to go take the train out and go ride and go grab it. So I grabbed it. He took, picked me up at the train station, drove me back to the shop. He showed me the shop around, which was really fucking cool. I should have logged it. Great work. Two mechanics there. I forgot one guy's name's Dai, and I forgot the other guy. But uh, great work. Nothing but the best of them. So if you guys ever are in Japan, 
I'm gonna put the link in the description to this guy's website. Great mechanics. He's got two mechanics there. I don't know if he works on a bike. He's the owner. Um, they sell a lot of bikes, a lot of custom crap. They can do everything. They have a dyno, all that shit. So if you guys are ever in Japan, make sure you check out the link in the description below because he's your man to go to about bikes. And check out absbearings.com. I'm not getting paid for any of this, by the way. I just want to shout out. I appreciate good service. So if I have good service, I'm gonna talk about it. Next thing we got done was besides the fairings, the clutch. Um, oh yeah, heat paint. These used to be faded as fuck. So he got brand new plastic parts right here. This is all new, brand new plastic right here, which I didn't notice until I was riding it. So he, he had to order those. That's why it cost me a little bit more for repairs because he bought all new OEM plastic straight off Honda. And I went with, if you guys don't know, yeah, I did drop my bike once. So this thing's fucking hot because I was riding it all day. Um, I used to have the turn signals just like these ones sticking out the front, but what I did is I just did uh, flush mount ones, so he put right here flush mount indicators on my bike for me, which I think fucking make the bike look so nice because all you see is like the front like nose of it and you don't see a little uh, vagina bulb sticking out the side. That made no sense, but yeah, so we got flush mount indicators right there. We got one carbon fiber and one regular mirror because I ended up breaking one. And that's the only one I had, but yeah, that is about it. Another walk around up the bike right now. Bike is running great, too. I had to ride it back on the highway and took it out today on some bridges and shit. So you guys will see this on Sunday. There'll be a moto vlog on Monday, but I appreciate all the support lately. A lot of you guys want to see more fitness vlogs. I will start incorporating more fitness vlogs. If you guys have anything like extra that you want to like, you know, tell me in the comments what you want to see on the channel. Um, it's getting warmer out, more motor vlogs, more fitness vlogs, that doesn't really matter, but yeah, more fitness vlogs are coming, more life vlogs are coming. This channel is going to get so diverse and different, so I think that's what's going to make me stand out. We're at 1,123 subscribers last time I checked. 10K is ours this year, I need you guys help to spread the word, and if you guys do not like a video or do not like a certain thing I talk about or you don't like the content, feel free to dislike the video, but at least have the decency in the comments to tell me what can I improve on because if I can't improve on I don't know what to do you know so that's probably about it for this video make sure you guys check out the fucking video on Wednesday if you guys haven't missed any fitness vlogs or motor vlogs or stuff like there are my channel check them out below check out the two links below and also guys I do have an Instagram and I do have a Facebook make sure you like my Facebook page and like my Instagram page because I post a lot of pictures in there about my bike in Tokyo and all that shit so make sure you guys do that both links will be in the description below I appreciate all the support lately guys more content's coming it's gonna be a crazy year a lot of stuff's gonna be getting uploaded soon but that's about it for the bike she's back and of course give me a name for this bike because I have no idea what I'm gonna name this bike it's fixed it's black it's red I don't fucking know name it peanut butter and jelly pop tart like I don't know let me know in the comments below we will vote on who will uh, have like a voting in the comment section about what the name should be and whoever, whatever gets the most thumbs up or something like that we will uh, we'll name it that because it needs a name every time I want to get on it needs a name it needs to feel love you know but yeah video coming out Wednesday make sure you guys give a like a comment subscribe if you guys are new and make sure you guys spread the word tell your friends about me if you guys if you want to see anything in particular or you don't like something the comments are there please let me know Instagram Facebook in the description I'll see you guys on Wednesday